interview LCCC. My name is Lily Abbey and today I'm joined by Pat Price. Pat is a community theater director who is currently directing a show at Workshop Players Theater and according to early audience reviews it is a knee slapping hit. Welcome to interview LCCC Pat. Well thank you Olivia. Um, I'd like to start by asking how long have you been directing plays? <laughs> well I can hardly believe it but it's been 40 years. See I started when I was about five. <laughs> What first sparked your interest in directing? Well, I was a theater major at Baldwin-Wallace College back in the late 60s, early 70s, and during that particular era, students were given the opportunity to apply to direct a fully budgeted production. Um, we had just moved into our brand new theater, which is no longer brand new, um, mm -hmm. and I applied and was accepted, and I was the first student to direct a fully budgeted production in the new theater. Back in 1973, I had $6,000 to spend on my production wow. of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Do you do anything else besides directing? Yes, you know, I think that's really important. When I taught drama at Oberlin High School, I always gave an outstanding senior award. And I never gave it to a student who was involved in only one aspect of theater because I think it's important to be involved with everything. And so that applies to myself as well. So I direct, I have acted, I've run props, I've run sound, I've been production manager, which is kind of a combination of being producer, uh, taking care of the non-artistic elements of production, along with being a janitor. Mm -hmm. I, I even shoveled <laughs> snow last winter, and I don't even do that at home. <laughs> what is your favorite thing within the theater world, like directing, acting, running crew? It's a good question. And I think I would have to say being a director. Although I enjoy being on stage, the whole idea of taking, you know, words on a page, just a script that seems intriguing, and bringing it to life uh, with your own vision. First, by talking to designers, you know, the costume designer, the scenic designer, the lighting designer, um, by thinking about how the sound cues have to run, and then casting it and giving each part of the show away to the actors. Um, I do block my shows. I think that's really important that there be an ever-changing stage picture um, while maintaining focus. And so I'm not one who is an organic director. Um, and so I see it very much an act of giving a show away. And once it all comes to life, it's like, wow, right. we did it. Well, we have to take a quick commercial break, but when we return, Pat will give us some more insight on her current project over at Workshop Players Theater in the round. Everyone knows college can cost a fortune, but it doesn't have to. I'm a proud graduate of Lorain County Community College and the University Partnership. LCCC is real education that moves you forward to a great job and a real future. Award-winning professors work hard to help you succeed. That makes LCCC a great value. And with LCCC's university partnership, you'll save tens of thousands on your next degree. Lorain County Community College, it's education for a real future. Enroll now for fall classes. Welcome back to Interview LCCC. I'm Olivia Abbey, and today we're interviewing Pat Price, a local community director. Now, I hear you're directing a show over at Workshop Players. What sparked your interest in directing at this specific theater? Well, when I was teaching at Oberlin, I used to take my students to see things over at Workshop. And, of course, as an individual theater goer, I went there a number of times. And everything I saw at Workshop was good. And, you know, that's not always the case with every theater. Sometimes it's like, hey, kids, let's do a show. But um, I wanted to be involved with the quality that they present at Workshop. Definitely. Um, can you give us a little bit more information on the current show at Workshop Players? Oh, certainly. It's called The Fox on the Fairway and it's written by Ken Ludwig who um, is sort of like the modern day Neil Simon. He's very funny. It's a farce and that means that um, it revolves around a sporting event, um, a wager, and there is a wager of very high stakes in this particular production. You've got two young lovers who are trying desperately to get together despite the odds um, and mistaken identities and people falling lo in love with the wrong people and it's just a lot of fun. The audiences have roared. Was it a challenge working with such a minimal cast as opposed to directing with a bigger cast? 
No, I wouldn't say that it was a challenge because this particular cast was, was really, really wonderful. Um, the young man that you're seeing right now on the screen uh, proposing is one of my former students from Oberlin High School. And it's been such a joy to work with him as an adult. You know, he was good in high school, but now that he is grown up, he has just really matured as an actor. And what's going on in this video? Well, as I said, it's all part of a bet, and it all revolves around golf. And in this particular scene, things simply have not been going well. And uh, I think that was reflected in that particular uh, scenario. Now, that's me um, giving some suggestions as we're um, um, evolving into a scene. OK. If there was one reason why people should come and support workshop players, what should it be? Well, it is a local community theater that produces quality products. Um, imagine being in existence for 66 years. It all started with um, Valerie Jenkins Gerstenberger, who wanted to extend her high school students' experience. And they began workshop players 66 years ago in this little one-room schoolhouse, and it's still going today. Good. And finally, why did you choose theater? A good question, because I graduated from Oberlin High School, and at that time we didn't even have an auditorium. We did our plays in the cafeteria with a couple poles with lights on them. And I think during my entire high school career, we did two full-length plays and a bunch of one acts. Mm. And so armed with that vast array of experience, I decided to go on to college and become a theater major. That was insane. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. But it worked out. Right. And I have enjoyed being involved with theater my entire life. Well, good. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'd like to thank our guest, Pat Price, for coming on the show. We'll see you next time on Interview LCCC.